Right guys, welcome down to a beautiful Formby Golf Club here as the sun starts to set and I'm joined by the man himself, Mr Rick Shields. I'm How are you doing mate? I'm really good, it's good to be back on the channel, Absolutely. thanks for inviting me and something intrigues me Peter because you're holding something that I'm not quite sure what, what we're doing with it just yet. <laughs> I won't say anything. I'm currently holding a big blue fluffy thing. Okay. Well, foamy. Up. Oh. There you go, thanks for watching guys. Uh, <laughs> subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're gonna be playing die or dice. Now, very simple. Obviously, six sides, six yes. numbers. Now, if you roll a number one, there you go, my glamorous assistant. Roll number one. That's basically you've got to hit a low shot. Okay. If you hit two, you've got to hit high. Three is a fade. Four is a draw. Five, your opponent selects the shot, and six. You just hit whatever you want. Okay. It's going to be interesting because we've just done a challenge on, our, on my channel where currently we've only got three clubs. We've got three clubs. I mean, this, listen, this is going to go either amazingly or terribly. But if you do want to play this game, I would highly recommend it. It basically gets you playing different shots that you're not going to normally play. It gets you thinking a little bit outside the box. Okay. Who wants to go first? Do you want me to go? Yeah, go. You throw it. So I've got to hit a... Oh, <laughs> your, your choice. Um, <laughs> I would like you to hit... A, so what, I can say what club or? You can say what club, but let's keep it. Well, we play three holes, yeah. so let's try and keep it normal. Okay. So let's, so it would be a three wood here. That's all I've got. But I want to see you hit a stinging three wood. Stinging three wood, yeah. Perfect. Obviously you can be incredibly nasty and if one of us is one down with one hole to play and have to roll a five, I was stinging wondering, three. I was wondering why he's been carrying this round. So stinging three wood, we're here on the ninth hole at Formby Golf Club, one of my favorite golf courses. And I know I'm sure Pete's the same. Oh, class. And this is probably one of my favorite holes. It's a par four, it's a long one, over 450 yards. Um, so a stinging three wood. I'm gonna come back a little bit and hopefully demonstrate that stingy shot for you. Three wood, Pete. Oh, that is beautiful. How good is that? That passes, Pete. Straight in the bunker. That's probably going into the bunker, I think. It has gone in the bunker, but you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm all right with that. I yeah. absolutely ripped that. Yeah, that was class. Okay, I like it. Good right. start. Let's have a go then, shall we? I absolutely struck that. Right, let's see what Rick's going to be having. Also number five. Is I this, would like is this you biased? to. I would like you to play a, uh, a faded two iron, please. Okay. Luckily for everybody watching, that's a shot that I'm incredibly familiar with, and one that I'm sure some people call it my stock shot. Some people do. Uh, no. Those people are new to the channel. <laughs> never uh, seen play. People, those type of people watching reverse, they flipped the other way around. So faded two iron, I'm gonna start it on those trees on the left, open the face, cut across the ball. Oh, it is actually faded at all. That is unbelievable. I like this game. Well, I think we've uh, just found out the secret to golf. Just take that round with you. Let's go. <laughs> right, Shields, give me something high. Well, you're in the bunker. Give me number two. So you're hitting three wood. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, you want to get wedge or six iron. I've got very limited options. Should yeah. we use it where we can use each other's clubs as well? Yeah. Oh, actually, yeah. contractually oh, okay. obliged. You're not allowed to, are you? Right, let's go. One of those dirty pings. <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> low. I've got to hit it low. Yeah. Well, it looks like I'm, looks like I'm hitting out sideways then. Thanks for that, mate. Appreciate Thanks, that. Dave. I never told you I, uh, I used to be quite the, uh, the craps player back Thought in the day. We'd just be having a nice, friendly game. Wow. But oh no. <laughs> you know what? You could have advanced that forward. Not hitting it low. Look at it. Look, bunker in my face. This might be the only w potential win I have all season if I keep rolling well. I tell you what, you, <laughs> my you, you've perked up. <laughs> you've perked up in this. Come on, five. Come on, five. Or two. High. Which is high. I'm going to hit it high. Okay. So I'm 200 yards. Uh, wait a second, yeah. 181 yards. I've got a seven iron. So a ballistic seven iron. Yeah, do you want to see it go high? Yeah, yeah. So what would you change to hit it high? Um, <clears throat> I like to go ball position forward. Yeah. I like to feel like I'm not going to take too much of a divot and fin finish with really high hands. So I have this impression that I'm almost hitting more up on the ball. My exit through the ball is going upwards as opposed to around my body. 
typically I get it a little bit more drawy as well for me, so um, I don't I aim a little bit right. Oh. Do you coach? <laughs> once, once or twice. That is to space. That looks really good. I might get there. I, um, Line look class. I caught it just a fraction behind. That is always the risk when you move the ball position forward. And on a tight line like this, it's not ideal. In an ideal world, I would have hit my tee shot into the rough because that would have made it a lot easier. Uh, right, <laughs> I'll repair that divot and then we'll go over to Peaks. This is the first time I've been back on the course in a month now. So. Give us up a nice place. A die. Die of destiny. What you got? Three. Oh, fade. Oh, please. <laughs> Damn! Oh, I'm stop. this is so disappointing. That is... Uh... How far did you have from that? I'll tell you how far we are. We are 180 yards to the front, 195 to the middle. Pin looks fairly middle to back, so... It's pretty... Six iron with a fade. It's pretty cold, so... So this is quite stock for you, isn't it, Pete? Pretty much, yeah. I don't really have to think too much. I just aim a little bit. If I want to get a lot of movement, just aim a little bit further left and... Yeah. Close my eyes, generally. That's my fade advice. Oh, if you want to talk about getting a draw, I'll get very complicated with that. So, because it's such a stock shot for Pete, he's letting it flow. For me, I definitely have to think about it much more. Fade with the six iron here. Yeah, that's nice. That's started at the left, fading back to target. Yeah, very nice. Didn't quite turn enough, but in fairness, you actually hit that unbelievably well. Thank the you. The technical, and this is where you can get messed the, the perfect fade is where it starts left the target and finishes back onto target, but typically that would mean it would land on the exact line again, which, no. listen, we're not pros. No, I mean, it's, that, <laughs> takes, that takes a lot of skill. <laughs> Our skill lies in editing. <laughs> so, Rick, outside chance of a birdie. Yeah, that wasn't fading as much as I would have thought. Is this going to be a match play moment? Do you chip it out the side? That would be... Yeah, that would be a real sting in the tail if you... Not this in. Be good though. Pete for path to go in. Stinger three wood. Low wedge out the bunker. Sideways. <laughs> Faded six iron to pin high. And a putt to give him a chance of making par and pile on the pressure. It's got a written, written in the stars this. Not on my watch. <laughs> disappointing. <laughs> bit pacey. That was a bit disappointing. Keep that hole warm for you. You know, I've got a real phobia about that. What? A phobia? A, pho a phobia? <laughs> I don't think phobia is the right word. Like, <laughs> being scared of spiders, that's a phobia. <laughs> being scared of a ball in the hole. Right, for par to win the hole, come on. Oh, oh, Rick, I've held nothing. Nada. <laughs> what makes that? It's that phobia you've got about balls being in the hole. <laughs> yeah, everyone needs to go, like, overcome that. Listen, I'm, I'm not saying I'm a pro golfer, but I'd, I'd start there. <laughs> Match or square? One, seven, five. This for me? Absolutely, three. Hello, welcome to fade life, my friend. It's three fade? It's three fade, yeah. Pretty sure three's fade. Okay. Oh, you made the rules. <laughs> Uh, okay, so it's 175, I've got seven iron, which I like. It's good, good yardage for me this. Yeah. So, I'm gonna try and really get one turning for your Pete. Slightly tricky, because there is a bunker on, on the left-hand side, so ideally. Yeah, I'd be very much looking at a draw on this tee shot normally, but. That's nice. That's really nice. Great shot. It's definitely getting a bit cold now. Yeah, Just drop. Just into perspective there, Pete. I don't know if you, you want to give a bit of insight. That rough direction of target, and you can see there the divot post impact's moving at least one inch degree left. You know what, Pete, I'm not going to lie to you, I looked down at that then, <laughs> and in my mind, because I'm so used to seeing divots go the other way, that looked like That's it was like, going to hit my left <laughs> toe. <laughs> Wait, that is just like a divot for a straight shot. Retract that statement. Like... <laughs> okay, um, I'll chuck it for you. Give it a shake. What you got? Five, I pick. Love it. Um, is there any shots that's not on the die? Is there any shots that are not in the six? So with the, I mean, with the five, it doesn't really matter. So I could go low fade, high draw, you know, oh, whatever. Okay. So it's your choice. Okay. 
Uh, let me see you hit. Do you have to hit six iron? Uh, yeah, okay, we'll yeah. go six iron. And I want to see off you a big high hook. I see, this is what, this, game, this, this part of the game, this is why it's so good for me. Yeah. Because that's a shot, obviously, that I'm not very comfortable with. And yet, it's a shot I'm going to have to play. So I want to see it starting right near those bunkers and, and turn, whoa, it's right. extreme. Okay, so we're going to strengthen that like grip it. massively. Strengthen the grip, aim right, path moving right. Now oh, that's turned very nicely. Does it finish back on line? Yeah, not bad, you know. Not two decent shots, then. Not bad, that. Um, listen, I'm not sure if listen, I can... Compared to your draws, you might not be happy with that. That that's just, I've just snap hooked it. I just snap hooked to six. Go like a draw. Um, <laughs> I do that. The on only it. thing I might subtract your points for, and therefore a two shot penalty, is <laughs> a, <laughs> the rules right. I wouldn't say it was the high draw, but it did. Oh, you did know. you say high draw? High, high hook. Sorry, that was just a miscommunication. I apologise. Should have been more succinct in what you wanted me to do. <laughs> We're both putting. So two puts. Yeah, it looks kind like of slightly false front on this hole. It's a Great looking hole here at the 10th at Thornby. Looks like it's going to go a little bit left to begin with and then a little bit right at the end. A little bit like that. I didn't hit it. Oh. That is deeply, deeply upsetting. I'm not going to let it get to me though. No, it's a good point. You can take it away, obviously, because it's within inches. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, you're, you're so kind. <laughs> I've got very generous people. Until Christmas is coming up. <laughs> Wouldn't have given me those a few weeks ago. Oh. Got a great chance. Great chance. Oh, I just didn't turn. Ah. Do you borrow a marker or? <laughs> <laughs> I think you can have that one. Oh, what? <laughs> that was in all. <laughs> that was in all the way. Last hole. Sun has set. Temperature is diving. And you got a number six. Wow. Your choice. Hit whatever the hell you want. But you've got to. You got to tell me. You got to decide what it is. I'll tell you what. I'll hit. I'll hit a low drawy stinger. A low drawy stinger. How's that sound? How'd you like those apples? <laughs> oh, hopefully that camera picks up because that is. There we go. That was nice. Still going. Yeah, I got the very first bit of it as it shot off and then Allow that me to last bit as it, it came around. Think about the perfect driver stinger. Uh, think about the perfect. No, you lost him. You lost him. Stinger <laughs> to iron. That's where, that's where you're at. Claimed. Ready? You ready, everyone? Whoa. Number four. Four. Draw. What's that? Draw. What club? Not been kind to you, has it? Uh, obviously, got three wood. Three wood. Three wood draw. It's just a standard stock. So, you mentioned before in the other hole how you play fade with your eyes shut, i.e., <laughs> it's so natural to you. What's the um, what's the thought process behind the draw? So, all I'm going to do because I don't want to I don't want to hook it because I, I won't be able to control it and that would mean I have to aim out over those gorse. So I want to aim at the clubhouse bell tower. I'm going to move the ball back a tiny bit in my stance. Yeah. It's going to get my club moving a little bit more from the inside. Yeah. And I'm just going to strengthen my grip just a touch. Great. Simple as that. My my path my delivery is relatively neutral anyway, so. I don't need to worry too much. No one likes to show off, Pete. I've just got to <laughs> not try and quit on it. I've got to allow that face to be closed. Like that. Shall we enter the four ball this year, PJ, and just take that round with us? How great would that be, <laughs> turn one the first? On a team for Quest Golf Academy, Peter Finch. What, what shall I hit, Rick? <laughs> oh. Well, in a, it's a draw. It, you know what? In a weird way, and jokes aside, at least it takes out some of the, you know, un, the, the doubt in the golf shot. Hey, I you love know, it. That, that chooses for you. Therefore, you have to hit the shot that the guy chooses. Yeah, but it forces you to think as well. So I had to think about my setup, think about the shot shape, and actually visualise it a little bit. It's a great tool because it's very rare that, well, it's not very rare. How often are people getting over the ball and they're like, what shot missing? What yeah. am I doing? It's been a while since it's been like this, mate. It has. Uh, like last time, last time we were actually doing some filming by the match we've just done was in Vegas, so this is very different. <laughs> oh. Three. What's oh, three? Fade. You like that? Uh, I'm not. 
being funny, but that two iron stinger that I've just hit has gone an absolute country mile. It's only gone 40 yards past me. And it has to be said, this course, for how much rain we've had in the UK, is unbelievably dry. So, so, so good. So, how, how far have you, you got? Uh, we are. Uh, oh, it thinks we're on the 12th hole. What hole is this? We've just jumped holes. Uh, 14th? 14. Oh, we are That's 190 one. yards from the front, 205 yards to the middle. You can hit, you can hit your three wood. What is it, a fadey three? <laughs> I, can't, I can't feel my fingers, so that says six signs are not the play. Pins just tucked in behind there, so you're going to have to start it. Again, naturally, this would be much more of a, of a draw-looking golf shot, starting in that gap and drawing it. Oh, that's lovely. Has it gone too much fade? Let's see. Oh, that's a beauty. Very well controlled. Yeah, middle of the green. A, a B plus for fade accuracy. Oh, thank you. Oh, whoa. Uh, Two. High. Big high seven? Big high. Kind of touching to wind it, maybe, as well. Well, let's not mess about. Oh, I knew I drew it. Oh, what was he drawing? Ah, I said, what did I say in the other hole? When I hit it high, I draw it. What did I not do? Aim right. Fire it. Come on. <laughs> Remember that time at Carnoustie when we walked off? This is probably about the same light. Oh yeah, but that was July, Pete. That was July. And that was 7 p.m. It's currently 4.37. That wasn't 7 p.m., that was like 11 p.m. It was. Belly's full of whiskey as well. Yeah, it was a nice little wonder that. Yeah, that was good. Right, little chip off the green, 52 degree. Very good. Yeah, go on then. Only because the stars are coming out. Do you think that must be one of the best club hours, is that? It's stunning. So it's cool. Absolutely stunning. Right, Pete, front of the green, birdie putt. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen better from you, Pete. I've been disappointed from 130 away. So, <laughs> this is for the half. Otherwise, you lose. And that means out of the four matches we've had this year, it's two all. Oh, okay. <laughs> so all in all, you I won golf bidder, you won Vegas. Oh. I won th you won three club challenge, I won the dice game. Listen, it's this fairy tale story everyone wanted, really. Is that right? <laughs> I'm not sure I agree. Oh my word. Right, guys. Right, guys, just want to say a huge thank you to Form B for having us down. Absolutely adore this course, adore this place and part of the country as well. If you are ever around here, please check this out and the ladies and everything around it. It's so good. Just want to say a big thank you to Rick for joining me. It on was this good. Bit. You know what? It's nice to get out on the golf course. I missed Japan in Japan. I was like, when's he coming back? I want to get some golfing. I did send you a postcard. Oh. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash that like, leave some comments down below. And we'll be back in 2020 with more matches. Um, I think we should go somewhere warmer again, Pete. I appreciate, I preferred that. The warmth. Yeah, yeah I think so. We'll see you soon.